This video illustrates how to solve a word problem involving a system of two equations with two variables. The question is, three coffees and two muffins cost $7, two coffees and four muffins cost $8. What are the individual prices for a coffee and a muffin? The first thing we have to do is define our variables. And our hint for doing that is the question at the end of the problem. What is the individual price for a single coffee and a single muffin tells us that we need to define our variables as let x equal the cost of a single coffee and let y equal the cost of a single muffin. The next step is to create our two equations with two variables each. The information in the problem tells us everything we need to create the two equations. Usually there will be a period or a comma that separates the information into two pieces. In this case, the period after $7 is hinting at me that the information I need for the first equation happens before that period. Three coffees and two muffins cost a total of $7 must mean, because of the way I define my variables, 3x plus 2y equals 7. The second equation is drawn from the information two coffees and four muffins cost $8. It works in a very similar way, so my equation is 2x plus 4y equals 8. Making the equations is the hardest part of the problem, but it's made easier if you very clearly have defined your two variables. Now I'm going to use substitution to solve this problem. I have a choice of various methods of solving, substitution, elimination through addition, or comparison, but I'm choosing substitution. And my first step is to isolate the x in the second equation, the red one. By moving the 4y to the opposite side of the equals and then dividing the whole equation by 2, I end up with x equals 4 minus 2y. Therefore, the x in the other equation, the blue one, must also equal 4 minus 2y, and I can do my substitution. 3 times 4 minus 2y plus 2y equals 7. Now I just have to use algebra to isolate the y. I get 12 minus 6y plus 2y equals 7. Negative 4y equals 7 minus 12. Negative 4y equals negative 5. And therefore, y is equal to negative 5 over negative 4, which simplifies to 1.25. Now I'm plugging y equals 1.25 into one of my original equations, and I get this. Simplifying, I end up with x is equal to 3 halves, or 1.5. It's time to give the final answer to my problem. Since x is the cost of a single coffee and is equal to 1.5, a single coffee costs $1.50. Y is equal to 1.25, so a single muffin costs $1.25. I have to remember to give my final answer with units of measure if I want to get full marks for this problem.